what's up guys hope you are doing well there and welcome to the channel seek show so today i will be doing a simple qgis tutorial to develop a simple crop health map using qgis software and multispectral drone images and also i will try to do the same thing using arcgis software right okay let's get started but before that if you are new to this youtube channel and if you want to learn gis remote sensing and all kind of educational stuff hit the red subscribe button down there and click the bell button to get the latest video updates okay right i want to remind you that uh, this is the second lesson or the second tutorial of my last video which i have explained about uh, crop health map developing a crop health map using multispectral drone images right and the theories behind the crop health map right and today this is the second tutorial or the second lesson of my last video if you haven't watched my last video yet please click the card showing in the top right corner watch that video first and come back to here later and also i hope you all have a basic understanding of qgis and rgis software if you have if you don't have any kind of experience you can watch this playlist available in my channel so you can learn everything about qgis and rgis software right okay let's get started with qgis software okay right so this is the basic interface of the qgis software you can see the menu bars right if you have uh, if you can keep your arrow here you can see what it is right this is the menu bar and this is the uh, help toolbar and you can see the plugins toolbar right and also uh, there are uh, uh, digitizing toolbars right? different different uh, toolbars available here right and also here you can see some panels this is called the browser panel and the layer panel right and if you haven't see this uh, if you can't see this browser panel or the layer panel what you have to do is go to this view and search for these panels and right here you can see there are different different panels right what you have to do is just uh, if this stick is not available you can tick it right for now i am going to untick this browser then you can see what has happened and also i will remove this panel layer panel right now there is no panel right if you want those panels appear back what you have to go to what you have to do go to panels go to this browser and again view panels and layer right those two panels would be enough for today's tutorial i am just giving a basic understanding right now i am going to import my multispectral drone images right so since it is a raster image what we have to do uh, we have to go to this layer and add layer and then again add raster layer because we are importing a raster image right drawn image to this qgis software right if you want you can use this control shift plus r for importing raster image right for now i am just importing a raster image right then this is the data source manager you can import and uh, you can connect with different different data sources right vector raster measures point clouds postgres right there are different sources but here i am importing a raster from a file right if you uh, raster images have uploaded into a cloud you can go to this one right for now i will be using this file and here you can you should see here you should see a browse browse icon just click this browse and uh, i am uh, co already connected to my exercise file here you can see the raster images i will be selecting i will impo import this this image and uh, nir image and the uh, red image because all these three images uh, oh that's enough even sometimes we need okay right we will import these three right all the three raster images can be imported at once now here you can click add 
right now here in the layer panel you should see these imported raster images right for now i will close this one right so these are the imported raster images into qgis software you can zoom in zoom out using your mouse scroll uh, wheel right here also you can see the zoom in icon and zoom out icon right i will uh, adjust this uh, layer panel just to uh, clearly see i will untick these images now you can see what is happening right so just be familiar with these things if you want to be expert in the qgis right so this is the topmost layer and if i untick this one we can see the second um, image right if i untick this one we can see the last image this is the mosaic image this is a normal rgb image if you want we can click hold and move to the top right so that's uh, those are the things that we can practice in the layer panel for now i will uh, keep this down and also you can see this tiny arrow here you can click this one to open up the uh, raster image here you can see the rgb images so red green and blue so th this will not be necessary for today's practical right i will quickly move i'm just giving a basic understanding for those who are interested to learn about the basics right now we are going to develop a simple crop health map using a raster calculator right so here we will be using uh what's the equation what is the index for crop health map in dvi the most popular index for crop vigor or the crop health is normalized difference vegetation index called in dvi and this is the equation uh, nir minus red divided by nir plus red right so this is uh, the raster and you can see the raster calculator here just click this one it will open out or it will open up the raster calculator right here you can see the raster bands and the result layer here the first thing you have to do is you have to set a output layer and click the browse and i will select this uh, format factory open and i will uh, give a name file name for the output file i will give qgis uh, e, ex1 right i will save this one now, now it is okay the output format is geotiff and there are some other th settings that i am not going to talk about right so this is the raster calculator uh, expression window right so i will be starting with the open bracket and our equation is uh, ndvi equals nir minus red so uh, i will click this one nir and click minus and then again uh, red and i will close the bracket then divide and open the bracket nir plus and still expression is invalid right nir plus um, red red view band and i will close the bracket then you can see the expression is valid right so always you have to check you have to observe the expression uh, validity right so now this is okay i'm going to click okay then it will uh, calculate it right so you can see the given file name qgis like ex1 right i will turn off other um, layers i will open up the uh, calculated image so this is the crop health map you can see the range right in my last video i explained you that the ndvi value normally ranges from minus one to plus one right so here you can see the 0 0.9 the maximum value and the zero point minus 0 0.4 right if you want to change the color you can double click on this layer and go to symbology and you can see this uh, render type you can adjust uh, pseudo color and you can 
add uh, in spectral color range right click apply and okay right you can see the higher value in blue color and the lower values uh, in red color right so this is a kind of uh, crop health map that we can get an understanding about the crop vigor right so i'm not going to discuss uh, in deep about the properties and the uh, classification and there are several other things that i wanted to show you but uh, for this is not the day uh, i will show these settings and these things in later tutorials for now i'm i want to do the same thing as i promised i want to do the same thing using uh, ArcGIS software so this is the ArcGIS software i think uh, you have a basic understanding on of the software so i will quickly add my data right here you can uh, add your data folder i have already connected to my exercise one folder so i will add these two red and the nir uh, drone images click add to add the drone images into your arcmap software here you can see the uh, nir and uh, red wave band images right and what you have to do you have to find your raster calculator here uh, go to your search uh, and select these tools and click um, raster calculator in the spatial analyst right so then you can find the raster calculator click this link to open up the raster calculator right it will take some time since i am opening this raster calculator after a long time so this is uh, in the meantime i will explain so this is the um, menu bar and the toolbar and the table of content uh, same as in the qgis uh, this might be in the layer panel right so this is the table of content right anyway so this is the raster calculator in the arcmap software you can see the same uh, type of uh, window no available layers for a uh, calculation so you can see the red uh, image and the nir image and the functions right okay i have set uh, i will set the output uh, here output raster uh, i will add the, in my folder connections qgis exercise i will give uh, arc arc map uh ex1 right click this save and here you can the output raster now i will add the equation here right open up the bracket uh, again this is the equation nir minus red nir minus red close bracket divide still you can see the mal map uh, algebra expression is um, not compared right irash right let me show you and open the bracket in nir plus and uh, rate close the bracket and I click this one. now now it seems okay right now it is okay your equation is okay your expression is okay right so now what you have to do is click ok to get your crop health map it will take some time you can see it, it is still running you can see the results current session and it is still ongoing right if you want to find your go to your geo processing and you can go to this results tab right then you can check and then you can see how it is going right here the results still it is being uh, calculating right the raster calculator it takes so much time other than the qgis software in my experience qgis was fast at that time okay let's see the output results after some time and try to do a, a little bit comparison among the images right so you can see the output raster uh, calculator the raster layer let me uncheck other unwanted bands now 
and you can see the highest value is uh, 0 0.93 and the minus or the lowest value is 0 0.47 minus right let me check with the QGIS values 0 0.9 and minus 4 0 0.41 there are some slight changes in the maximum and minimum right let me adjust the color range you can double click on this layer and open up the or you can go to your properties yes symbology and i will add uh, what is the color this one i think this one is okay let me see um, this one right, click apply and okay right okay anyway you can see the differences in maximum and minimum value but if you want to verify that you have to find you have to import uh, both ndvi maps in the same same software or either arcgis or arcmap or qgis then you can um, check uh, using uh, check the pixel values using this identify tool then you can see both images are same so now i am Im importing the ndvi map or the same map that has been calculated using uh, qgis software right let me open up a new folder connection uh this pc and documents click ok now you can see that this format factory right this is the qgis calculated ndvi ndvi map or the cop health map let me add this one to the software uh, we can click yes or no or whatever just matter and if you want you can set the same color range here uh what is this one i think this is you know right apply and okay right let me check a single pixel right let's try to observe a single pixel value right this one i will uh, click this identify tool in the qgis uh ndvi right this one the value is uh, stretch value is 173 pixel value is 0 0.55 right this one this one no right then i will untick and check this one uh, pixel value is e equal 0 0.55 and the stretch value is different 169 right the other one was 179 so anyway both images are same and equal there is no difference only the difference in higher and the lower values right so this is how we calculate the crop health map using qgis and arcgis software since both images are multispectral uh, drone images we have to use the raster calculator to do this equation to calculate this one okay right i think uh, that's enough for the today's tutorial i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope you learned something new from this video if yes please hit a like for this video if you have anything to ask please leave your comments in the comment section and share this video with your friend uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for future notifications i will be back with the next tutorial soon till then take care and goodbye